Hey guys, so I am back. I know it's been like forever, um, but if you want to know where I've been, just read down below because it's a long ass story. So anyways, this video is about my eyeshadow um, and basically I did high end on one side and drugstore on the other. I was going to do a tutorial, but then I, I don't know, I just didn't do one. So um, if you want to see a tutorial for it though, let me know because this is kind of like my Radiant Orchid look for the year since Radiant Orchid is the color of the year. And I'm obsessed with orchids. I love orchids. They're my favorite flower ever. Um, so here it is. This one's the high-end one and this one's the drugstore one. I'm going to be showing you the products in this video. So if you guys do want a tutorial though, I will film it. Um, I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't do one. I don't know why I just did it. I was just like, whatever, I'm not going to do it because it's perfect for springtime and I obviously want it to be spring because I'm wearing this cute little top from, um, it's from, what did I get it? Nordstrom Rack? Yeah. And I only got it for like seven bucks and I like love it. It's by the brand Lush and it's just a cute little crop top. So anyways, um, I just put this on for the video. It's freaking snowing outside. The high end side, um, I used the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette. It looks like this. Um, and these were, this is the colors that it comes in. So, um, what I've been doing and what I have been loving for like the past whole freaking week, and probably onto this week because I'm just obsessed, is I have been taking this shade called Curiouser. That's on my eyelid right now from this palette. That's really the only color that I have used out of this palette, though. Um, I did, one time when I did a variation of this, I took Queen and Vorpal and put that in my crease, but I haven't done that for a few days. And then also on my outer corner, I took the Jabberwocky shade, which is just a really pretty black with sparkles in it, and I did that on my outer corner. So those were really the only two colors that I continuously used for this whole look. Um, but I know you can't get this palette anymore. It is limited edition and they want like fucking $200 for it on eBay. Um, so I have some dupes for you. So in my crease, I use the MAC Mineralize Eyeshadow in Odd Couple. And it's this one uh, with the purple and the goldeny lilacness on the bottom. Um, so what I do is I just like swirled a crease brush in here and got this color and this side of the uh, eyeshadow and put that in my crease and it just made a really pretty, I don't know, variation. Um, so I really liked that and then like I said for my outer corner I just took the Jabberwocky and then what was whatever was left over on my pencil brush I swirled that together with this purple so that's what's on my lower lash line and for a base I forgot to mention um is the MAC shade stick they don't sell shade sticks anymore but it's in Gracious Me um and it's just a really pretty orchid base I'll go ahead and swatch it so now for the um, drugstore side, because they do look pretty similar, um, I took this Maybelline Eye Studio palette in Amethyst Ablazed. Um, it looks like this. This is, um, they came out with the green ones. There's a brown one, a smoky eye one. Um, and it comes with like this really light lilac shade and this pinky orchid shade, um, a blue toned purple, an eggplant color, and this top coat of glitter that you can put over your look. Oh yeah, and for my base, I took the Color Tattoo um, Metal by um, by Maybelline in Inked in Pink. Um, um, so what I did was mixed this color and this one for my um, eyeshadow, or for my eyelid. And then for my crease, I took um, this purple and mixed it with this Ulta shade in Mystique. I did my crease that way, so that's what it looks like. It's pretty similar. Or for my outer corner, I took from the Wet n Wild Don't Steal My Thunder, and I took the middle shade, which is the black, and it has sparkle in it. Um, so that's what I did. And then for the lower lash line, whatever was left over on my brush, I just took that blue purple again and mixed it with that black to do my lower lash line. And really, that's all I did. Um, since these ones aren't super shimmery, I did take this top coat and kind of pat it over the top of this and then I had to I used too much so I had to like blend the crap out of it but this is my and I also wanted to do a lip one and I completely forgot I sat down and started filming so let me get that situated and then for my lips um this side is high end and the other side is drugstore as well and I'd say they match pretty well um 
you can kind of tell a difference because this side is a little bit more shiny, but I took the MAC um, Sheen Supreme in Asian Flower and put that over there, and it's just a really pretty orchid shade. Um, and I'll go ahead and swatch it. I'm kind of swatched that heavy. And then for the other side, I took the uh, Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Darling, and it's this one. Um, and I'll swatch it for you too. And there they are. They pretty much are kind of identical. The top one's just a little bit more purple, and the bottom one's a little bit more pinky. Uh, but they mixed well together. Um, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm glad you guys are watching again. Please, a thumbs up the video, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Guys, I am also on Lovocracy. It's just an app. You can also check it out online. You guys can go ahead and follow me. My username is emilyly96. I will have it here. Um, and also, the link will be down below for you guys if you want to check it out. Um, but I have a bunch of different pages. You know, I have favorite nail polishes of all time, my manicure essentials, favorites for February, uh, my face wash routine, and even this video you just watched is going to be on there too. It's going to be called Radiant Orchid. Bye guys!